guys and welcome to TTV The True Brits. I'm back. It's me. It's Ricky. And we've got another demo for you. Bit of uh, FIFA Street as you can probably tell. Now we're going to walk you through this game. Um, what is FIFA Street? Well, it's football or soccer. Um, played in arenas and, and different stadiums that are very much like, you know, one-fourth the size of a, a real field. and. It's like 5v5, 3v3, 4v4, you know, lots of different shit, really. And uh, So they've made a game out of it, and if you haven't known, they've made several before, which have all really, for me, been crap. If I'm going to be honest with you, they've been pathetic. So the makers of FIFA have decided, you know what, let's try and make a decent one. And have they? Well, we're going to find out as we uh, do a little magic here with the ball. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. And we're going to get cracking straight away. So hit the streets. We're going to hit it up. We're going to start, as you can see, they are the uh, different selections you can do for the full game. Five aside, panel rules, which is basically nutmegging people and getting points. Futsal, which is uh, no walls and more of a real kind of a game on a small field. Last man standing, uh, which is lose a man every time you score a goal. And custom match, which is custom match. So five aside, is that's the only one you can do. But you can unlock a, another Shanghai um, thingy bajig. But you need to have friends that have it, and I don't think any of my friends have it, so... Anyway, for now there are four teams. You've got Adidas, All-Stars, Man City, Milan, and Street Swirl, which is like real-life freestylers, I'm guessing. We're going to roll with Milano, and we're going to play City. Uh, as you can see, there's a variety of different kits you can wear. So in the full game, it's going to be nice. You can wear the full kit or the away kit. Uh, you can wear the tracksuit or this tracksuit or there's another variation of it and another variation. You see there's a whole bunch of different looks and feels. Let's go for the uh, Baywatch look. And uh, Man City can have the uh, the old blue on with Nazre. Uh, venues, there's going to be 37 of them in the full game. Obviously just the Uno Armundo at the moment, just the one in Amsterdam. And then the lineup, you can also change. Cool thing about this as well is you can also change tactics. You can do static attack uh, if you want to do a 2v2 and only a few runs. If you want to do dynamic, where you're running all over the place. And if you want street style, where your team is not respecting any kind of formation and basically going badass on the other team. We're going to stick with dynamic for this game. So let's get into the game, alright? I've selected ready. And we're going to go. First thing is, it basically doesn't look anything like the previous FIFA Streets. You know, it's not arcadey looking. It's not, you know, people don't look like caricatures. They look like real people, which is nice. And they've gone for a more authentic feel, which I've got no problem with, because I wasn't actually looking forward to this game. But uh, I'm not going to lie, it's actually pretty addictive and pretty fun. Uh, the controls are simple as you can see here, circle, air, square is challenge and I'm through on goal and if you want to do a move like that and just slot it in, like I said, playing on easy here so uh, it's really not a challenge, in fact the AI is crap. But at least it gives you a chance to pro uh, try out new tricks which is what the game's all about. But it's not just tricks now, I mean you know the previous FIFA Streets was like oh let's try and get the, uh, what was it, fucking combo meter all the way up and shit and then you can do some ridiculous move from the halfway line. It was just, to me, it was boring. It was lame. Now, you know, the tricks look fluid and they look realistic. The players look realistic. The ball physics are much better. Uh, get out of the fucking way, there you go. So if you want to whip the ball up, you just do that. Uh, so you like right here. Uh, if you want to put it on your neck like that, you can do that. If you want to do a move over the guy's head, well, that didn't work, but... You know, moves are all easily done with the left stick. Left stick right here, look. He doesn't move the ball, he just moves the... Sorry, he moves the ball, but he doesn't really move his feet. And then if you want to nutmeg him, come on, come on, come on. Oh, see you later. Oh, you fucking prick. Anyway, you get the gist of it. L2 is uh, moving the ball, and then... You can uh, try and go for that meg, like that. Oh, uh, you bastard. If you want to just do skills, very easy. You move the right stick. So there's a flip flap, there's another... Elastico move. You can cut like that. You can come back. And look at that. Just skinned him. Made him look like a dickhead. Go for a nutmeg. See you later, son. So it's very easy. Easy controls. But the level of depth as well on the skills is also pretty, you know, 
deep, obviously, which makes the game far more enjoyable. Oh, what the fuck are you doing, Keeper? Get up, you twat. There you go. If you want to keep your legs closed, you hold... Oh, my God. That's embarrassing. You hold L2. Um, it's not... This game isn't hard on easy, so I'm making it look... Oh, see? There's a nutmeg. See you later, son. There's another meg. I'm making this guy look a right cock. And there it is. Beautiful. But, yeah, there's a... A nice flow to the game as well. It's, it's not slow. It's not, you know, super fast. But uh, it's uh, it's nice, fun to play, enjoyable. You know, and like I said, it's only a demo, so uh, it's gonna get you know better in the full game. I think online could be very interesting as well, especially playing as real life people. You know, a lot of people in real life love to just spam the the trick stick. So uh, it's gonna be a case of uh, Knowing uh, how to defend. Oh, I just made you like a right bell end. And if you want to stand on the ball, you can do that. See you later, son. Oh. Well, as you can see, the AI is pathetic. Uh, the shooting, I'll talk about that real quick. They've made it basically manual shooting now, which is nice, which means you can no longer, obviously, in a game like this, if you had assisted shooting, it would just fail. I mean, it's as simple as that. It would be crap, it wouldn't work, and uh, <clears throat> it would be a bumhole, basically. But, uh... Oh, try the old jumping move. But they've made it manual, so you have to aim now, which is a nice... Uh, I used to have thought about that. Oh, that's crap. But uh, yeah, this is the demo. It's 1.9 gig. It's fucking huge, uh, to be honest with you. But that is because the. Uh... Oh, he closed his legs. That's because um, I keep I keep trying to look at the screen and talk at the same time. But, uh... Oh, Rainbow! Oh, come on. But that's because, uh, you know, you can do World Tour, actually, and create your team, and, and it looks pretty deep. It looks pretty deep in that side of things. What am I doing? I'm playing like a friggin' poodle. You play it off the wall, you like that. One, two with a wall there. L2 is a little modifier. I mean, L1, that'll make him do more of a bonafide badass pass oh, right now I'm just spamming the right stick I'm not even fucking paying attention but it takes some time to get used to I mean the controls are different because you can't play it like FIFA you, you can't just run all over the place and expect to uh, bang goals in damn that's a good effort you have to kind of pay attention with what you're doing But yeah, my thoughts, I like it. I may pick it up actually. These are the kind of demos that make you want to buy games, which you probably weren't going to buy in the first place. Anyway, that's that. I'm going to now switch to. Uh, let me just score real quick. There you go. I'm going to switch to the world tour and show you guys what that's all about, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so world tour. Uh, this is it, this is world tour, this is what it looks like. Right now we only have two events. This one, the Shanghai ones, like I said, you can't play this uh, unless you have two friends to download, which I don't, so that kind of sucks. But the Amsterdam one is basically the one I just showed you guys. Uh, but we're going to have a look at more of the customization of uh, the World Tour. And as you can see here, this is my team. I've just randomly picked these guys. You can actually make individual players, which is nice. 
Um, and the customization isn't that deep. I mean, you know, EA aren't that great with customization in FIFA. They never have been, but it's good enough. And you can make guys. So I'm going to make a guy right now. Create new player. And obviously you can put first name. I'm going to call him... Let's call him John Smith. The typical English name. John Smith. Extra smooth. Ba -ba 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 Bam. Okay, now we can do known as. Obviously you can put a name. So we can call him Bellend or something. Whatever you want to name him. Nationality, obviously. Pick from uh, a variety of them. Kit number. So you can change that accordingly. Let's make him whatever. Who cares? Change the birth, the month, blah, blah, blah. Preferred voice. You can do the voice region, the voice type. Which is nice because you can actually have... Yes, 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 yes. You can actually make them, you know, different shit. Uh, the body, you can customize that, so you can make him six foot seven, a Peter Crouch, or you can make him a Sean Knight Phillips at five foot two. That's really up to you. Uh, you make him stocky, you make him average lean, not really a huge difference. Uh, you can have long arms, ape arms, small midget arms. Change him to a black man, change him to a white man, change him to an Asian man, whatever the hell you want. Uh, the face, obviously, eyes, you can change the colour of them and the style, which is nice. They've actually made it a lot quicker than FIFA, which is good. You don't have to wait five days for it to load. Nose, you can give him a big schnauz, a small schnoz, medium schnoz, whatever you want. Let's give him a, a fucking weird looking one. Uh, make the mouth, obviously, let's give, him a, let's give him a bent mouth, make him look like a right bender. Got the chin. Give him a big chin, a small chin, John Travolta chin. Let's give him a double chin. No, oh, no, I missed the double chin. Come on, there you go. Uh, the hair you can obviously play around with his facial hairs and the hairs on his head. You can give him an afro if you want to be uh, rolling in the 70s. So Rastafarian now, man. Give him a bush on the old top of the head. A smaller bush, a bush with a hat. It's look like uh, Nadal if you want. You can look like uh, Fellaini. Look at that. That is epic. So we'll give him that because that's just ridiculous. Hair colour. Obviously you've got black, brown, green if you want to mix it up a little bit. Can't do anything too crazy but we'll go for the green look. Facial hair. Give him a full beard, just to make him look like an absolute bell end. Small beard. We'll give him a good, nice, solid beard there. And you can obviously change that as well. Can't make it green, that's a shame. We'll give it a ginger look. Eyebrows, you can mix them up. Give him bushy ones. You can give him a, a big, long... Can you give him one eyebrow? Uno bra, uno bro. Let's give him bushy ones. So there we go. He looks like an absolute pedo. A, you know, a paral. You can change the top, the home colour. You can make them ridiculous. Make the ugliest kit in the world. So green, uh, secondary with a bit of white, with a bit of fucking more green. So as you can see, it's deep. Its customization's not bad at all. You can change the socks. Anyway, we're just gonna fucking get on with that. And uh, there's my dude. So I've made him. He is now part of my team. And you can do that for all your players, which is nice. And there he is, looking like an absolute quality player. You can also upgrade for your player, which is nice. So these are all the attributes you're going to unlock in-game. Um, which is uh, going to be good. The skills. Some of these skills. We're going to check them out here. This is a simple move. So you've got very basic skills here. You know, the kind of moves you can do most of the time. And then you got some crazy shit, and some of these are mental. Um, when you get down to the bottom here, like that like kind of shit. You got stuff like that. You got the fake ruler. This one's mental. Look at this one. Dun 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 dun. Boom. See you later. You got the rainbow double heel pop. So you got quite a few skills here. Yeah, this is passes. If you're a goalie, you can uh, you can get this acrobatic save. You can even get on your hands and knees and head the ball in the net if you unlock that. So all these different kinds of shape you're going to be able to unlock in the game which is pretty nice. Uh, you've also got celebrations if you want to 
you know, change up the celebration. So really nice to see they've added this into the game. And uh, should be cool to see it in the game as well. So once you've done all that and you've got your team rolling, um, obviously you can play games. And uh, we're not going to play any more. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll actually fuck it. We'll, we'll quickly get in here and start a game. It's going to be like 30 seconds long, but let's just do it. But do check out the demo guys, I'm liking it, enjoying it, it's pretty fun. Definitely can do two player as well. I haven't got my uh, Afro man on, but uh, you know, it's it's good fun, it's it's enjoyable. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, boom, see you later son. Do a little flip flap here, and remember now, my guys suck ass. These guys have absolutely no skill, uh, because you've got to unlock them, so that's a good thing. In the full game, you're going to have to build your team up, go online, play people, you know, customize your team even more. So it's nice to see it, you know, and uh, definitely should be interesting. Let's try a bike. Oh, you fucking bastard. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoy the video. Please do uh, hit that like button. If you don't like me, I'm sorry. But uh, I'll try my best to give you guys just a little bit of a overview of the game and what it's going to be like when it does hit the shelves on the 13th in the US and I believe the 16th in Europe. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. Please do subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.